So the first um, tip I gave her was to think about the interests that her, her father has, or in, in your case, anyone who you're getting a painting done for. What sort of things are they interested in? Um, and she sort of thought for a minute and I said, well, think about a place that maybe means something special to your dad. Is there anywhere that, um, you know, that he's been that gives special memories? Um, or maybe there was somewhere that both he and her have been to. Um, and straight away she thought, ah, I know, she said, um, there is a, a special place over in Leek. Um, it's, it's, there's this mountain and there's a rock. And I, straight away she knew some, some place that was really special to him. So that I said, okay, that's your first thing. Then the second thing is to, um, you need to have a, like either a really good photograph because to, you know, when you're trying to take a, a painting from, when you're trying to paint something from, from a photograph, if the photograph isn't very clear, it's very hard to, to try and paint it. So in order to um, get over that area, I said to her, what it would be probably a good idea is to, um, to source a local artist Think about so the first one is get think of somewhere special that, that the person has been and then get a local artist ideally um, because that person that artist can would know the area perhaps and uh, they could probably take photographs of different times of the day to get a feel and a, of the atmosphere I can in, in Laura's case with this mountain you know you go, if you have a photograph in the morning it's going to be maybe misty it's going to look a lot different in the evening uh, on a warm day on a sunny day um, even autumn, spring, you know, the different times of year it's going to look different. So that was the second thing I thought I thought would help. And um, the the third thing was to um, to think about time as well. So you need to give an artist some time. It's not something, when it comes to a painting, it's not something that just happens overnight. And if they have to schedule it in with um, other commissions that they're, they're doing or any other work they're doing, um, you know, you do need to give them a few months' notice, especially with Christmas coming up. Um, 